Hey, we're here in Otoru, Hokkaido in Japan, the top of Japan, and we're at the Asahara Glass Factory. So excited to see all the different floats that originated from this very place. So let's go check it out. My name is Saichiro Asahara, uh, living in Otaru. So I have a <coughs> glass uh, blowing glass factory. Uh, we're making a glass floor or something like a <coughs> glass plant. So this man, uh, this is the uh, oldest factory I think, which are you? Yeah, all the all the one. Koko wa, ma Asahara glass wa, to Kitaichi glass wa shinseki nan desu, shinseki. Hmm. Hmm. De, koko wa sono ま、本家で製造してるとこ。で、その、朝原同じ。別な人、別な人。3人いるな、朝原。うん。うんと、大阪で、大阪から来た人、朝原さんは、え、塩です。朝原塩。アーティストで、え、ま、クラフトマンで。<笑> 大阪のガラス工場の息子でで、そこで修行していた若い仲間と一緒に小樽に移ってきたの。40年前かな、40年ぐらい前。で、そこでガラス工芸をこう発展させてる小樽で。Grandfather. One more. He was born in Fukuoka, in Kyushu, in Japan. South, not from the north, from south. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> I show you. Sendai glass. Factory, uh, already finished. Uh, I'm after Kushiro Asahara made me. Uh, so I, I think uh, <clears throat> we used to have uh, five factories, Asahara glass factories, five factories in Wari Otaru here, and uh, Kushiro or Muroran in Kaido, uh, Asahikawa, and then another one, the uh, last one is. Uh, Saharin uh, 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 belong to Russia now. Karasto. Yeah, yeah. There, there was one in Karasto. Asahara group. Of course, uh, the any uh, some any 
factories also. Mm -hmm. Then mm, this mark is from Kushiro Asahara. Ah. Mm. Oh. <coughs> Shinda, gata, rolling pin. Oh wow. Mm -hmm. Hi. Oh, oh yeah. hi hi. Mm. Hello, Ring Pin no Kawa. うんとうんグラスフロートは海で使うよね海魚を取るためにでえまあ浮かせたりちょっと沈めたりいろいろな使い方があるんだよね方によってあの仕網ええハエナワ刺し網といろいろでまあいろんなサイズがあるんだけど
All right, so we're going to have a demonstration now of how glass fishing floats are made. This is the kiln that he has fired up, and he's put some glass in there. And we're going to see how all the magic happens. Twirl, twirl, pulls it out, that blob at the end, that's the glass. It's gonna start blowing in there like a balloon, making it larger and larger. See it like a ball now. And you just gotta keep twirling so it doesn't fall into the ground. Keep blowing, twirling, it's awesome. Okay, so now these are the molds that his great-grandfather actually made those original glass fishing floats with, so he's still using them. So he's gonna choose the, a certain size for this particular fishing float that he's got. So they pull it aside, and then the assistant is going to fix it up, get it ready for him to put that glass into it. Okay, so his assistant is spraying down the mold, making sure that the glass will not stick to the mold. And then in goes the glass, and just keep twirling it in there, in that sphere shape, making it into that beautiful ball that we all love. So now it looks like he is going to remove the glass ball from the rod. So he's taking it on over the table, he's going to grab some tool, and he's just going to tap it a few times so that it will release from that rod. And now we've got what they call the belly button, and basically it's just putting down the seal this is a round tool that presses it down, and then usually big companies would put their mark stamp on top of that in the end, but with his great-grandfather, they never did a mark, so this is just as it would have been. And that's basically it. Hope you enjoyed how a glass fishing float is made.
start. Uh, do I? <laughs> okay. Last step one. Flower. Flower. Open flower. Make. Beautiful.